Hello and once again welcome to my workshop. Today's video is going to be, well I'm going to be testing uh, some new equipment. Uh, first of all this uh, which is a secondary um, device for recording audio. Um, I'm obviously not going to be wearing this for every video. I'm just testing it out at this moment. So what we are going to do during this video is um, about 12 months ago I converted a SIG X2 little mini mill to CNC. Um, well I hadn't had time to really finish it so over the last couple of days I have and this is the result. So here it is. Uh, it's only here temporary um, till I, I want to give it a good workout and I'll build a, um, a stand and enclosure for it uh, because eventually I want it running with coolant because um, I want to be able to uh, cut steel with this. Um, of course the CNC rotors won't cut steel. Um, they will do aluminium, they'll do all the grades of aluminium, they'll do brass and copper, uh, soft metals like that. Uh, they might even do titanium. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but this certainly will. It, they're um, quite a nice little unit. Um, we as a company have decided not to sell these kits or even uh, a converted machine. Um, we would Look, it's all about making a profit. <laughs> um, we would have to sell at least two of these a week. You know, the marketing teams got together and said, that's not going to happen. Uh, plus, we would have to, uh, you know, invest probably um, somewhere in the region of one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand dollars. Um, which is a lot of money to have sat around, uh, you know, waiting for people to buy them. So um, we're, for the moment, are not going to sell uh, the kit or um, a completed machine. So anyway, it's been a very interesting project and uh, you can follow along and if you are able, you could, you can actually do it yourself. Um, I've done some 10 videos on converting this. So, today um, I want to show you it working, which is what I'm going to do right now. I've got a, a very small program which was written uh, in ATCAM. Uh, it's been put into Mac 3. I've already set the zeros and I've actually set the, the, the machine up in Mac 3, uh, the actual footprint. Uh, in a later video, or in other videos, I've actually showed you how to do that. Uh, but if, you, if someone's interested, um, send me an email and um, I'll make a video of actually how to set this up with Mac 3, uh, if you like. Um, so what we, it's already in Mac 3, already zeroed. zeroed. Um, so we'll switch it on. Uh, I have had it on already uh, this morning. Incidentally, it's um, Sunday morning here and it's midwinter. Although the sun is shining, it's um, I think a top of eight degrees today Celsius, which is so it's not too bad, but uh, it's a bit cold still. So anyway, um, what you do, you take the uh, you take the reset off and what I like to do is regen the toolpath and then easily just press start and off it'll go. It's 
really not worth uh, having the spindle uh, run in because it's really not cutting anything on the air. Just to prove to you that it does actually work. And that's actually cut in um, 50 mil uh, diameter and five millimeter deep uh, pocket into aluminium or whatever. And that's it. So what we are going to do today, um, now what I want to do is I want to make a, a fixture plate. This is um, about eight millimeter, seven, seven millimeter, something like that. Um, aluminium plate. And this is nearly the full uh, working area of this machine now. Um, I've extended the working area um, by um, machining part of the, the base away. I've increased it by about um, 20 millimeters actually, which is three quarters of an inch. Um, so, which I've, so I've increased it to 110, 110 millimeters across the Y and it is 230 in the um in the x um instead of i think it was a hundred and something like 190 millimeters to travel uh, so we've got some gains there and obviously th there's quite a bit of gain uh in the uh z as well that is also uh 230 millimeter of uh, travel um, so what I want to do is I want to make a, a, a fixture plate um, that I can bolt down on here because this is uh, some uh, 300 millimeters long. So I want to bolt it down on here flat. Uh, but I want to, to have a, a series of drillings um, over this plate so I can, if I want to, I can bolt this engineer's dev um, device on here or I can screw a piece of material directly on here uh, or bolt it rather uh, so they're going to be holes and threaded so um, that's what I want to do today um, and I'm going to use this I'm going to write a program and use this to drill all the holes um, which um, should be a fairly easy job for uh, the first job for the, this little CNC mill. What I'm doing at this point is just cleaning the aluminium from mm, slight marks and uh, a bit of debris. So what I've actually done is I've set the or oh, connected the piece of aluminium plate to some 18 mil MDF uh, to keep it up off the bed because I'm actually going to drill all the way through um, to allow the um, the chamfer of the, the 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 drill then to be drilled right out. So I start the process of spotting the drill holes because sometimes when you drill with a CNC machine into aluminium, uh, the drill tends to wander as it starts, to, you know, where you want to start, it will wander off slightly. So you, you spot the holes. And it's at this point I notice they're not really as deep as what I thought. So I reset the zero to a, an additional 
um, half millimeter deeper and then I, I run the program again. So now we're at the point where we're drilling the holes. I started drilling the holes at uh, probably, I think it was about 60% of the program. And it's about now that I, I ramp it up to about 100%. Um, and absolutely normal. Uh, a normal process of, of, any, of any of my routers. Um, it just did it in its stride. Didn't even sort of think about it. Done a really good job. This next process I have done for many years. I use a high torque drill to uh, actually tap the threads. Um, I do this in aluminium all the time. Uh, providing you, you, you can sort of feel it, and providing you keep the tap clean ish, um, it doesn't clog up, doesn't jam, and a little bit of lubricant, everything's fine. And of course, then immediately after doing that, you clean the burrs off because uh, you don't want anything to hold it up off the uh, the bed of the mini mill. And there I am um, connecting it to the mini mill. And I think I um, I gotta I square it up and uh, make sure that it's in the right spot and tighten it down. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just showing you, you know, the overall machine and what I'm actually picking out here is I drill the holes in line with the T-slot so when a bolt gets screwed in it goes down into the void of the, uh, the T-slot. So there we are. I hope you've uh, liked the video today on the little SIG Mini Mill CNC conversion. It's only a small job, but it does show uh, that the little SIG is uh, operational as a CNC machine and uh, it's pretty accurate. Uh, and it will do the, any job that you give it really very efficiently. Uh, I mean, I had the, the, the feeds set relatively low that was only 20 millimeters a second it probably would do a, I, I i don't know exactly what it will do uh i'm presuming it will do somewhere in the region of um maybe 50 millimeters a second but i don't think there's any need to have it running that fast i mean it's going to be sort of uh, i don't think i'm going to be machining wood in it or anything like that or even plastic I have other machines to do that uh, so it's going to be metals I think basically so if you've liked this video please press like subscribe to my channel that's a really good thing to do <laughs> and if you go to my channel you will see videos now now there's nearly 200 videos you'll see videos on CNC routers, the programs that run CNC routers, that's uh, like Mark III, the programs that write the G codes, that's ATCAM, ATCAM Premium, and ATCAM Standard, wood turning. My, this channel has been very successful with wood turning, thank you guys very much. I do shop jobs around here. Uh, modifications on tools and benches and oh the list goes on. I, I even do a bit of um, furniture making and making toys. Uh, 
Uh, yes, the, the, the toy collection I have around here is actually from my adopted grandchildren. They, um, they found out that I, I like Star Wars, so birthdays and Christmas is up. I get Star Wars toys, which I really like actually. Uh, and the, uh, the Harry Potter um, memorabilia as well. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you pop in uh, to see me again sometime. So, bye for now.